they're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty. This thing is a bomb. You got leather seats. I think it's a mixture between leather and something else. I don't even have leather seats. The joint is nice, Ken. We got my girl Ken Ken here. Hey. And she is finding us a lift because. A tattoo appointment? Yeah, but tattoo. What made you want to get a new tattoo? When was... You haven't had a tattoo in years. The last time I got a tattoo was 2013. Oh wow! It's 2020 now, so I was about to say I think oh uh, yeah the um that bootleg <laughs> jump shorty and legs. Yes. <laughs> we went to this bootleg uh cause you know we were young we didn't know nothing about finding the artist you know yeah we thinking like a tattoo was a tattoo mm -hmm. slim I don't but, think they stayed in business for more than a month. No, nah, that was gone. But my tattoo is yeah. good to go. It's, it's yeah. last all these years. Her back fell off, but other than that, it's like no, nah, no. It's literally it was it was a clean place. I got place. lucky though. Yeah, I got yeah, lucky. Yeah, it was a clean place. It was just the artists. I feel like they weren't as developed as yeah, yeah, yeah other yeah, artists. Like, I wouldn't like recommend them. But again, we didn't know anything about tattoos, and I'm not saying I'm a tattoo guru. But I think the goal is always to find a good artist. Yes. And this artist is pretty. Make sure my eyebrows are there. I feel like my eyebrows are falling out. Why? <laughs> hey boys. <laughs> so you know, oh, man. But um the artist is real real bomb and I hope he's not real like ill. If yeah. that makes sense, because I've been dealing with a lot of ill tattoo artists versus when I say ill, their attitude has just been garbage, basically. Like they just think they're all that and a bag of chips. And so, you know, they just are kinda douchey. So I'm hoping this guy is really, really nice. <laughs> Did you just zoom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me. I'm gonna have to get some of the gloves because right now I feel like I've been calling myself Mr. Donut Man because I just feel like a donut. No, never that. Hey boys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. But we're um we're probably gonna leave out in the next ten to fifteen minutes. Yes. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. You nervous? Are you from DC? No. <laughs> oh, you from Alexandria? Okay, okay. You been tattooing? <laughs> you don't mind being on camera, do you? I'll make sure to tag you. Nah, yeah, some years. Yeah, the small tattoos that you're getting. Yeah, small ones. Huh? But I like. Right now we're in the shop yes. and as you guys just saw we were with Kenya and the artist we were discussing her sizing because Kenya didn't tell me that she's getting two tattoos. Okay, I didn't know I was going to get that one on my wrist because I didn't book an appointment but if you're able to do it, I'm going to get it. So I really like this design, but I don't like that eye. You know how the eye looks kind of like lazy. And I can't believe you're getting two. Yeah. I can't remember how, like, 
I'm sure it's gonna hurt, but I know we dab the days. But this floor is wavy, like is it stressful running a shop on your own? I don't know. I, I mean, it's a difference between running a tattoo shop and a private studio. I'd consider this like a private studio. The fact that I'm only here by myself. I mean, it's not nothing that I can see if you had to manage multiple tattoo artists, then it'd be some difficulty in that. But it's not really that hard. You created these jackets right here? Yeah. Those are nice jackets. I got some more on the other side that you can't see. <laughs> and I saw a few of them. Yeah, I like that one. But the but the, the serious thing that changed my mind the most like this four day boys and I'm young and we all got busted. And I maybe I'll get a chance to talk about that today. At that time they should talk about What I was doing, mm -hmm. and everybody wanted to be the drug dealers back then. Yeah, everybody wanted to be drug, be like the drug dealers yeah. back then. All the rappers wanted to be like the drug dealers. Yeah, those are the first people. Yeah. So I worked with Birds for a while, right? That's the collapse. Then it shifted to the cartels. That, that, that's why you know people call they call Reverend Al Sharpton the. Uh, yeah. But you gotta, if you wanna really know how this is, tiny neighborhood at, that we grew up in mm -hmm. at the time, it was larger than a little bit down downtown. Like we had the first little it, Italian Dukes, and the other ones was the Red Wings. Now, if you go online, you could read about the Purple Gang. So Quick interruption for our sponsors. I don't have any sponsors. But when I do get sponsors or sponsorships, it will be great. I need that money. Uh, I just wanted to come in and interrupt the video. Um, just to let you guys know that the tattoo artist, we didn't say it in the video, but the tattoo artist was absolutely amazing. It was a very dope experience. And whenever you have those type of experiences with like tattoos or tattoo artists, it's always a better experience when you actually enjoy being around the tattoo artist and he's conversational. Is that a word? He's engaging in conversation and he isn't like really anti and he's very like personable. It just makes the experience way better. And he truly took care of my girl. And so I know we didn't say it in the actual video. We probably did, I'm not sure. But I just wanted to come on here and say, yeah, he was bomb, great experience. So yeah, it's really hot next to this patio window. We gonna go back to the regular video. Mm. Jeez, it's hot. <laughs> it's gonna be a part of a montage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all gonna be a part of a montage, so you good. A montage, what is that? Um, it's basically like a combination of clips that go along with music. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm keeping that in. <laughs> <laughs> It's so clean. Girl, it's giving me tattoo fever. Go ahead and get you another one. Do you feel accomplished after you finish tattooing somebody? Uh, no, it depends. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I, sometimes I can feel this. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like it's it takes so long. You haven't like uh, it's probably so normal to you, but if I drew that on somebody's arm and did I would be like, I am bomb. Now a lot of the times if it's a cool design, you know, I'll be happy, I ain't go especially if it's something that 
that I like and they like.